what's good what's going on man it's your boy b and we back in this mode with another video today we got craziest shoes in nba history man we're gonna check this mud out man y'all know they the nba players do be rocking a whole bunch of different uh crazy shoes man especially like the colorways and stuff like that man i'm a huge sneaker head myself man let me know down below in the comments if y'all are sneaky heads and if so What's your favorite shoe that you 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 like to wear? Or what's your favorite shoe in your collection? Let me know in the comments, man. I'll be down there all the time. But anyways, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, y'all already know what to do, man. Slap up that like button for me. Hit that sub button if y'all want to see more content like this. Uh, with that being said, I hop straight into it, man. Let's get it, man. From the most expensive shoes in NBA history to a pair of sneakers you can make a phone call on. Oh, yeah, it works for real, real, man. These <laughs> are the craziest shoes. Shout out to uh, Rebound, too, man. Be coming out. We're dropping the dope content, man. NBA history. What the hell is that? Come on, man. I can see these selling for upwards of a million dollars. How many shoes do you own now? About 4,000 pairs of shoes. And we got to start with Shaq, because he designed one of the weirdest Shaq. shoes of all time. Rebound. The Shaq shoe phone. Yeah, he's right here. Flash right here. Hold on. Flash. What are you Shaq. Shaq is dunking and dialing. That's crazy. But what's even crazier are LeBron shoes. Cause he got a pair of sneakers that Bones? are worth a hundred thousand. See, in 2018, LeBron reached a career milestone, scoring 30,000 points. And Nike yes, wanted sir. to congratulate him on his achievement. So they called up the shoe surgeon and created the craziest pair of shoes LeBron had ever seen. Who? The gold LeBron. Who got the best, who got the best like shoe in the league? Who got the best? Who got their own shoe? Who got the best? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. You know what I'm saying? Who got the best shoe? Yeah, in the league. I think that's the best way to word it, man. Me personally, I, I would say this is back when I was in high school. I would go with I'll go I would go with KD had the, he dropped those uh what are they KD what are they KD sixes maybe. I don't know whichever the low top ones, and they like it, they kind of look like a soccer shoe. Them Johnson's was fire, man. Them Johnson's was fire, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Kobe, of course. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Kobe like that. and the Kobe sixes, tough. Um, the fours are tough as well. And come on, man. How can we forget about Michael Jordan, man? Come on now, We can't dog. forget about Michael Jordan shoes now. Come on, man. But that's my pick, man. That's my pick. LeBron 15s, 24 karat gold, iced out with 238 Damn. diamonds, over genuine Damn. crocodile skin, and to top it off, a diamond-encrusted lion pendant, all worth over 100 grand. Sheesh. Oh, these kicks are beautiful, but the shoe game isn't always this pretty. Because Michael Jordan's got a pair of sneakers that almost got someone killed. Back in 1995, lives. when Jordan came out of retirement, Nike welcomed him back to don't the show, NBA. Don't write that my favorite Do my favorite Jordans. The Air Jordan 11 Concords. And when fans saw these yeah. shoes, they lost their minds. Concords, Space Gems. I don't got a pair of cool grays. I want a pair though. I ain't gonna lie. Concords and Space Jams, man. The Levins are my favorite pair of uh, Jordans. The Levins, 14s, and the Warns. Now they looked amazing. So when they hit the stores a few months later, they sold out immediately. And over the next decade, and the threes, it became too. one of the threes most tough. popular pair of Jordans ever. But in 2011, fans took their love for these shoes too far. Because when Nike decided to drop a retro version of the Concord Jeez. right before Christmas, Sneaker. Hey, these fans are nuts. Come and on, so now, is Metal dog. World Peace. Yeah. He designed the weirdest pair of Metal shoes World Peace. in NBA history. His so name was Artest. Back in 2014, Meta took his talents to China to play in the CBA. Oh, he played he in China. To pay his respects to the Chinese culture. So not only did he change his know that. name to the Panda's friend, but he also dropped a brand new signature sneak. Huh, how many? How many? How many names this guy got, man? It went from Ron Artest. To Metal World Peace, to the Panda friend. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Who are these niggas? Stupid. Child, what you got going on, bro? Call the Panda's friend shoes. Available in black or white. Not gonna lie, that's not a bad looking. 
Like the, the okay, okay, okay. The base, the base of the shoe is not. It's not bad looking. It's not bad looking. You know. It kind of reminds me of the the Adidas. Uh, little Wayne had the Adidas with the uh the 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 little uh um the bear on it. I think was it a bear? I can't remember. Y'all know what I'm. The sneaky is. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. All right, I'm gonna quit with this very own stuffed panda. Yeah. Let's see if I can find a picture, bro. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a picture, man. Uh. Little way, uh, Adidas shoes. Yeah, here, yeah, right here. Some shit like this right here. That's what it remind me of. These. I don't know if I can rock those, though. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh, I don't think I can rock those, man. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. These right here, I can rock. I can rock these. You know what I'm saying? But like a, a, a Teddy Graham on my shoe? I don't know about that, man. I'm not even going to hold you. This dude was hitting threes with pandas on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> his shoes are unbearable, dog. I mean, you wouldn't find them in my closet. But you might find them in PJ Tucker's. I purchased a pair of shoes to have them as has a collection. the biggest shoe collection in the NBA. See, over the years, PJ's been doing a little. Here's one thing you need to do. Yeah, PJ Tucker. I don't what PJ got, man. Searching NBA. See, over the years, PJ's been doing a little soul searching, collecting over 5,000 pairs of sneakers. 5,000. Where the hell Crazy. do you even fit 5,000 pairs of sneakers? Well, PJ not only who filled it. Who y'all think got the biggest shoe collection in the NBA, man? 5,000 is crazy. Entire room wow. in his mansion with shoes. But he also bought a house just to store his sneakers. Hey, what's up? It's PJ Tucker, and welcome to my sneaker loft. The loft is primarily for storage. There wasn't enough space in my house to be able to put all my shoes, so I thought, you know, I hey, got to get I want to get there at some point. I want to get there at some point. dream, because it's here that PJ stores the most valuable shoes like that. in like his that. entire collection. Like his Back to the Future Nike Max. Woo! Or Stewie Griffin LeBron sixes, and even this pair, PJ's custom Diamond Swoosh Air Force Ones, worth over two hundred and fifty thousand. Jesus, Damn. a quarter mil for a single pair of shoes. That's wild. But there's Bruh. one pair of shoes that's worth more than PJ's that entire time, collection. These oh. are Dwayne Wade's Li Ning Way of Wade Fours. They're so valuable, they require arm security just before. to transport. Yeah, this thing's strapped with diamonds and sapphires, set in 18 karat white yeah, gold with a solid gold tag. So in 2016, when they were put up for auction, they were valued at a ridiculous $4 million. Oh. What? Damn, for that price, your feet are looking pretty. But I can't say the same for this next pair. Because we got to talk about the <laughs> ugliest sneakers in NBA history. See, in 2001, Adidas announced that the Kobe 2s were coming out. The fans were expecting something iconic. I mean, we're talking about Kobe. Hold on, so Kobe had, he did have some Adidas. What else, like the, I don't, I really, I didn't really like his his uh, Adidas kicks. I'm not even going to lie. So Kobe was, was, was signed with Adidas and Nike or... It was because it's like the crazy eights, right? He had the Kobe, the crazy eights. So he had a deal with Adidas and then left from Adidas to Nike, or he had a deal with both of them at the same time. Let me know, man. When the world finally saw these shoes, they wanted to rip their eyes out. God damn. Adidas dropped the toaster twos. Well, what the hell are those? Sorry, I'm Kobe. Just ugly. I ain't well, gonna lie. He was disgusted. That's After the 2002 season, he met with Adidas executives. I paid him $8 million just to cancel his shoe deal get out of his contract hold on who did After the what 2002 season met with adidas executives i paid him eight million just to cancel adidas it. executives eight million to get out of adidas contract. shoe deal get out of his contract man these shoes were a disaster but it could have been a lot worse because yeah, wearing suck. these shoes is considered cheating yeah in 2010, Athletic Propulsions Lab was on a Why mission. Out? They wanted to design a pair of basketball sneakers that would change the NBA forever. The APL Concept Ones. 
And these shoes feature a special technology called Load and Launch, designed to increase a player's vertical jump over three inches. Yeah, wow. well, these things gave you hops. And all of a sudden, you had old heads at the rec center looking like <laughs> So APL thought it was just a matter of time before the concept once took over the NBA. I can't the rock the tops, though, but man. instead, the league said no, banning the shoes for, quote, giving players an unfair competitive advantage. And you'd think this would have been a bad look for APL. But instead, it was a blessing in disguise. Because APL turned the ban into a full-blown marketing campaign. And the shoe's been popular ever since. Now look, the NBA might be worried about APLs, but what they really gotta worry about are Montrez Harrell shoes. Hey, make sure y'all get a close up on Montrez Harrell shoes now. Montrez yeah. Harrell. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at them shoes. I wonder how much the coat cost. I've never seen nobody but a boxer wear shoes. Look, look crazy, man. Shoes. Mm, my man's rocking the ballerinas. That's fine, but they're not on Jason Tatum's level. Because uh, his shoes boys. can tie themselves. Yeah, in 2019, Tatum collabed with Nike to promote the Hyper Adapt BB, the first self tying basketball shoes in the world. On the app, you can see you could unlace it, tighten them up. That's fire. That tight. That's right. And then you got all the different the colors on the buttons right here. That's oh, fire. Wow. Man, those shoes are ridiculous. But that's nothing compared to what we got coming up. Because one player's shoes almost ruined his career, while another shoe is what? edible. Yeah, I'll tell you guys all about that in a second. But first, we got to talk Did about this our. This man just cut through oh, some wow. Converse. Hey, those shoes are ridiculous. But that's nothing compared to what we got coming up. Because one player's shoes almost ruined his career, while another shoe is edible. Yeah, I'll tell you guys all about that in a second. But first, we got to talk about our sponsor. DraftKings. Yeah, that's right. Looking to add a little spice to your NBA season? Well, I'm teaming up with my boys at DraftKings. And a fit and won the MVP award. Trolley, his favorite candy company, wanted to honor him. So they Thanks created Harden. a six pound, life-size gummy version of Harden's volume twos. I ain't gonna lie, Damn, crazy. But I do to nibble on those toes. But it'd so be pretty what? tough, because there's only three pairs in existence. And they each cost $2,677. One buck for every point he scored. But if you think that's unusual, Tell. you haven't seen cat shoes. Because he has the creepiest sneaker collection. Look. Okay, let me find out cat a sneaker here too now. Let me find out, man. I love this right here now. In the NBA, over the years, Carl's been taking his Nike Hyper Dunks and putting a spooky twist on them. From his custom Friday the 13th shoes so. to his Stranger Things sneakers. So. Even his pair of Grinch kits. So. Yeah, girl's shoe game is scary, but Kyrie Irving's is a little too scary. See, ever since 2011, Oh, don't peanut no butter and jelly dunks on his feet. See. Ooh wee. Hey man, that purple is tough. Look like some suede material. I ain't seen those. I'm not even gonna lie. My first time I've ever seen this colorway right here. Ever since 2011, when Kyrie first signed with Nike, he's been a pillar of sneaker culture. From legendary colorways to iconic collaborations, Kyrie's shoes have become an so, empire. I, I mean, by 2016, his Kyrie threes were the best-selling basketball shoes in the world. Wow. Then, Shout out to Kyrie, later, man. Kyrie dropped a pair of shoes that no one saw coming. The Kyrie 4 confettis. And at first glance, these look like any other sneaker. But I'm not even gonna lie, that shoe is tough. Like, I like the one, the shoe one color and then the other shoe another color. Like, that's fire to me, you know what I mean? That's just dope, you know, they're thinking outside the box. These shoes are hiding something dark because on the back of the shoe is the Eye of Providence, AKA the Eye of the Illuminati. Yeah, and it's not only freaking Come me on out, now, but it's freaking fans Shut out too. Up. Come on, man. This thing is cursed, and so are Zion's shoes. Because one pair of sneakers almost ruined Zion's career. On February 20th, 2019, Zion laced up his Nike PG 2.5s for a prime time are, college game you know, against North are. Carolina. And with thousands of fans, I'm players, rough. and celebrities in attendance, people were expecting to watch Zion dominate. Sorry. But then, something crazy happened. The rebounding team, usually that's the North Carolina Tar Heels. Slipping oh, and injured is Zion Williamson. Man. His, his shoe 
blew apart. Zion Shoe literally exploded. Bruh. What? What the hell, bruh? Shoot! 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 He came through his shoes on the court? Loaded. I mean, damn. That could have destroyed the man's foot and ruined his basketball career. But thankfully, Zion was okay. And it turns out, this incident was such a big moment that these shoes are now worth a fortune. What would be the upper range that you could see this thing going for at auction? You know, I've seen NBA one-on-one -on -one game All-Star jerseys go for 180000 That's crazy. It would not surprise me if it topped $250,000. A quarter mil for some busted PGs. That's crazy. crazy. And speaking of crazy, we gotta mention Kanye West. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. this dude made a pair of basketball shoes. How do y'all feel about the Kanye middle of the situation? Like, are y'all niggas still rocking, rocking Kanye? Y'all got to. You spend the money on shoes, still rocking, man. Adidas, he got a contract with Adidas, man. He can do his own thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. He can do his own thing. I got banned. I feel Back banned. in 2015, Kanye was trying to design the craziest basketball I'm shoe the league had ever seen. So over the I'm course of three hard. years, he designed more than 300 I don't really like the high top joints. All to try to make the perfect the low shoe. Tops and in 2018, boots. he finally hard. did it, unveiling to the world the easy basketball quantums. These were the sexiest shoes he had ever released. So he was trying to get them out to NBA players immediately. But unfortunately for him, when the league saw how flashy they were, they kicked Kanye's dreams to the curb, banning yeah. the shoes for being too reflective. Now Kanye might have a few screws loose, but he's yeah. not the only one. Because we gotta talk about Bruh. the craziest designer in sneaker history, LeVar Ball. See, oh, yeah. LeVar is a schemer through and through. And in 2017, as his kids were being talked about as future NBA stars, he wanted to capitalize on all the hype. So he decided to create his very own sneaker company called the Big Baller Brand. And with his sons at his side, LeVar was ready to take BBB to the moon. So they started dropping signature sneakers for the whole family. D'Angelo got the jello. So the they whole, started the sons at his side. Lead, though, right? was... Is he in the league? It's the oldest one, ain't it? Ready to take BBB to the moon. So they started dropping signature sneakers for the whole family. D'Angelo got the Jell-O 3s, Lonzo got the Z-O 2s, Lamelo got the MB1s, yeah, and hell, no, even LeVar got his own shoe. On yeah, the right, surface, it seemed love. like BBB was kicking the competition's ass. But in 2018, they got into some trouble with another BBB, the Better Business Bureau after receiving hundreds Stop. of complaints from customers talking about late orders, bad customer service, and poor quality of shoes, Big Baller Brand was officially given an F as their company grade. And Big Baller what? Better Business Bureau was after receiving hundreds of complaints from customers. This company does not offer refunds. I purchased two items and was told there would be a one to two week delay. I have been waiting six weeks now. And when I asked why it was taking so long, I was called a small baller. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Uh, is this real, dog? Come on, At man. Least I believe they have decided to steal my money. <laughs> that's oh, that's dope. crazy, man talking about late orders, bad customer service, and poor quality of shoes. Big Baller Brand hey man, was officially given an F kicks. as their company great. And quality it's and been downhill and ever since. Man, I'm glad I'm not in LeVar's shoes, but I'm even happier I'm not in John Morant's. Yeah. Cause his shoes sparked a worldwide controversy. Yeah, got the Kobe during singing the 2022 like about, playoffs, right? Ja was hooping in one of his favorite pairs of kicks, his Kobe 4 preludes, when Fans noticed something strange. Josh's shoes didn't look like ordinary Kobe's. The tongue was too short, the heel pattern was off, and the Nike swoosh. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. No oh, way he was out there rocking fake Kobe's now. Come on now, what are we talking about, man? If so, they, you know what I mean? Oh, not. This wasn't the right color. Yeah, they were fake. People were wondering, why is a millionaire NBA player wearing knockoff Nikes? Well, just a few days later, it all became clear. 
when Nike announced that they were suing StockX, one of the largest online shoe stores, for selling fake Nikes. Yeah, Ja bought fake Kobe's, and he didn't even know it. But what's even crazier are Michael Jordan's Bruh. shoes. That's MJ's crazy. got a pair of sneakers I heard about that are out too, of this though. world. Back in 1995, Jordan filmed one of the most iconic movies of all time, Space Jam. And while the movie itself is a classic, the, got the, the Chinese shoes he wore on the back during of the it. film that really stole the show. Because after filming Wrapped, MJ gave this pair of Jordan 11s to one of the crew members. And years later, those shoes ended up on an episode of Pawn Stars, where they were revealed to be one of the most valuable pairs of shoes in the world. So what do you think they would go for? Just the fact that Space Jam is the highest grossing basketball movie of all time, and also The Last Dance that did come out, which made all of Michael Jordan's memorabilia just go through the roof. I can see these selling for upwards of a million dollars. Come on now, dawg. Come on, a man. A million dollars, man. <laughs> what? Nah, dawg. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hey, one million. For a pair of shoes, that's a hundred thousand dollars per toe. God damn! It can't get any crazier than that, right? Well, believe it or not, there's one more pair that tops it: the single most valuable pair of Jordans in existence. These are the original Nike Airships, and these shoes are historic. Because in 1984, when Jordan was just a rookie, he wore these sneakers in his first few NBA Nike games, airships. making them the oldest known Michael Jordan game-worn Nikes. And with shoes that iconic, sneakerheads would do anything to cop this pair. So in 2021, when they were put up for auction, they became the most valuable pair of Jordans on the planet, selling for an insane- y'all wear those? The, 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 the airships? I mean, they look like one. I don't, hey, I don't really one like the back of the shoe. Of I don't really like, I don't like the back of that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really too too big of a fan, but everything else looks smooth. I like the long tongue and shit Jordan's on top. You know what on I mean? the planet, selling for an insane 1.47 million. <laughs> God damn, that's a whole lot of that's dollar crazy. for some shoes. Jesus. But believe it or not, NBA players are blowing even more money than that. I mean, James Harden spent a million dollars in one night. And Allen Iverson, yeah. he kept spending money till he went broke. Look, if you want to hear more, hey. then you need to click on this video hey, here, man. toots. You little tootsie toots. Shout, oh, hey, nah, man. Shout out to my man, Reba. <laughs> Dumb, the like Why you trying to man? Well, there you guys go, man. Come with y'all thoughts and opinions below, man, about the video. Crazy shoes in NBA history, man. I learned a lot. I always learn, man. I'm watching my boy uh rebounds man but anyways man y'all get in the comments man let me know y'all thoughts and opinions below be sure to check out one of the videos at the end of the screen because it's definitely a banger i would miss it if i was you man catch y'all next video i'm up out of here